Indonesia is a geographical and economic entity whose culture has been unity and diversity, a bundle of contradictions held together by strong but invisible chains. It has the captivating power of a legend. It is a fantasy. It is a thought, a dream, a symbol. Yet, it is a concrete reality, existent and all-embracing. Do you know what Rabindranath Tagore had said? I would love to know. Rabindranath Tagore had said, I love India, not because I cultivate the ideology of geography or because I was born in a soil, but because she has preserved through tumultuous ages the living words from illuminated consciousness of great ones. That's a beautiful quote. Since earliest times, Indian philosophers began to think about nature's mysteries. There was no sky and no heaven. Beyond the sky, what power was there? Where? Who was that power? Aye, ab, aap ko sunate hain. Hindustan ki azadi ki kahani. Zanzeero se jakde din. Aur kali andheri rato ki kahani. Ye kahani hai unki. Jin ke anginat kandho par chad kar. Hindustan ke asman par. Azadi ka suraj udit hua. Continue short of this. मैं समय हूं मेरा जन्म सृष्टि के निर्माण के साथ हुआ था मैं पिछले युगों में था इस युग में हूं और आने वाले सभी युगों में रहूंगा अनंत काल से पृथ्वी पर राज करने की लड़ाई जारी है जिसने सभ्यताओं का उदय और अंत देखा अठारह सौ सत्तावन ब्रिटिश औपनिवेशक सत्ता का एक क्रूर शातिर और दमनकारी चेहरा ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी कंपनी ने सिपाहियों को एक नई किस्म की इनफील्ड राइफल दी इसमें गोली भरने के लिए कारतूस को दांतों से काटकर खोलना पड़ता था ऐसा करना हिंदू और मुस्लिम सिपाहियों की धार्मिक भावनाओं के विरुद्ध था क्योंकि कारतू से चर्बी से बनी हुई थी और इन्हीं परिस्थितियों में अंग्रेजों के खिलाफ ऐतिहासिक विद्रोह का शंखनाथ करने वाले प्रथम गायक थे मंगल पांडे मंगल पांडे की शहादत बारूद के ढेर में पहली चिंधारी थी और ये चिंगारी ऐसी भड़की के देखते ही देखते बगावत की आग में पूरा देश देखने लगा वक्त आने पर बता देंगे तुझे आसमा हम अभी से क्या बताए क्या हमारे दिल में है ब्रिटिश फौज द्वारा दिल्ली पर कब्जे के बाद आखिरी मुगल बादशाह बहादुर शाह जफर गिरफ्तार कर लिए गए लाखों हिंदुस्तानियों को बर्बर तरीके से मौत के घाट उतार दिया गया 
इसी के साथ स्वतंत्रता संग्राम के इतिहास में एक युग का अंत हो गया वो खून कहो किस मतलब का जिसमें उबाल का नाम नहीं वो खून कहो किस मतलब का आ सके देश के काम नहीं बंगाल भारतीय राष्ट्रीय चेतना का सशक्त केंद्र और फिर स्वदेशी आंदोलन की ऐसी लहर चली कि जिसकी गूंज भारत के कोने कोने में सुनाई उन्नीस की बैसाखी इस दिन कुछ ऐसा हुआ जिससे पूरे देश की आत्मा सिहर उठी खेच कर लाई है सब तो कथिल होने की सौ चालीस मील की यात्रा एक वृद्ध फकीर का हाथ में लाठी लिए दुनिया के सबसे शक्तिशाली साम्राज्य को पर गांधी जी ने मुट्ठी भर नमक उठाकर ऐलान किया कि इस कदम से ब्रिटिश साम्राज्य की नींव हिलाई जा रही है अब आजादी की लड़ाई को अंजाम तक पहुंचाने के लिए महात्मा गांधी ने भारत छोड़ो आंदोलन की घोषणा की उन्होंने देश की जनता को एक महामंत्र दिया करो या मरो या तो हम भारत को आजाद कराएंगे या इस कोशिश में अपनी जान जी को करने को लहू में अपने घोला ओ मेरा रंग दे बसंती चोला माए रंग दे ओ मेरा रंग दे बसंती चोला माए रंग दे अंग्रेजी अत्याचार के प्रतिघात में नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस के नेतृत्व में आजाद हिंद फौज के झंडे तले एक प्रखर सैन्य मुहिम जारी एक बार फिर समय बदल रहा है ये बताने से पहले कि आने वाला कल कितना सुनहरा होगा मैं आपसे तीन जरूरी प्रश्न पूछना चाहता हूं एक क्या आप इस करवट लेते युग के साथ खुद को बदलने की हिम्मत रखते हैं दो क्या आप हमेशा शिखर पर रहना चाहते हैं और तीन क्या आप समय के साथ बदलने को तैयार हैं अब भारत की स्वाधीनता का अंतिम युद्ध प्रारंभ हो चुका था आजादी के दीवाने अपने अथक सामूहिक संघर्ष और कुर्बानी के दुदकती लॉ में
सदियों की गुलामी और शोषण की जंजीरें पिघलाने की कगार पर थे ये क्षण आसमान के सीने पर तिरंगा फहराने का क्षण था when the transfer of power from the british raj to the indian state takes place this marks the beginning of india's sovereignty and declares india as a republic the scene depicts the transfer of power through the glorious gesture of the presentation of the symbol a chola tradition reminiscing righteousness truth and wisdom presented by the last viceroy of british india lord mountbatten to our first prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru long years ago we made a tryst with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not wholly or fully in measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom to the nations and the people of the world we send our greetings and we pledge ourselves to cooperate with them in the furthering peace freedom and democracy and to india our much loved motherland the ancient the eternal and the ever new we pay our reverent homage and bind ourselves afresh to her service jai hind what you are and what you make of it on this depends the future of india we are not the citizens of an ordinary nation we are proud of our land our culture our nation and our traditions i'll end with a prayer from rabindranath tagore's gitanjali where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where the mind is without fear and the head is held high Where the mind is without fear, and the head is held high. Where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls. has done for you ask yourself what you have done for the country so to carry forward india's great might and to bring her on to the world stage we needed to make extreme decisions <laughs> as the saying goes difficult times call for difficult measures to move forward india needed to delve deep and think about technological expertise and with this we bring you the technological heritage of our country The scene is set in the office of Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba where he discusses the future with Dr. C.V. Raman and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. Look, you are having a very good day, Homi. Yes, I always have it by your observation skills, Raman. Remember the student we talked about, Cambridge graduate just like yourself, he couldn't complete his masters and had to leave in the middle of the war. Yeah, painfully 
What are their views on this? I thought you would ask that. Even in villages, technology in the form of green revolution spread its arms to encourage farmers to use modern methods in farming. Really? Is that so? 
How can you confirm this? Yes. To confirm it, let us take our audience to the small village of Pulera in Uttar Pradesh in the 1970s and see how technology had changed their lives. Raj and Sunita are sitting outside their small house. They look worried. enters the scene. Good morning, Rajan Sunita. Good morning, Mr. Singh. How are your crops doing? Not good, Mr. Singh. We are facing a lot of problems. Look, our crops are dying. Don't worry. There is hope. The government has started a new initiative called the Green Revolution. Green Revolution? Green Revolution? Yes, Green Revolution. But how will it help us? This revolution focuses on increasing the production of crops by introducing new varieties of seeds and modern Practices. Now, Mrs. Kaur, a village elder, walks in. Hello, Mr. Singh. How are you? Oh, fine, Mrs. Kaur. What you all are discussing about? I was just telling them about the Green Revolution. Okay, let me also tell them about the Green Revolution. Sure. The Green Revolution is a new initiative to improve agriculture in India. The government is introducing new varieties of seeds and modern agriculture practices to increase yield and improve the income. That sounds promising, but what do we have to do? You just need to adopt these new technologies and practices. The government is providing training and support to farmers to help them implement these changes. But how will we get the new seeds and equipment? The government is providing loans and subsidies to farmers so that they can buy the necessary equipment and seeds. Raj and Sunita implement the new practices and attend a meeting with Mr. Singh and Mrs. Kaur to share their results. Welcome Raj and Sunita. How are your crops doing now? They are doing much better Mr. Singh. We have adopted new practices in technology and have seen a significant increase in our yields. Yes, we are now able to feed our family and have even started selling our supplements. That's excellent. The Green Revolution has been a success in many parts of India and I'm glad to see it's been working for you. And not only the farmers have been benefited, it also has a positive impact on the economy of our village. We are grateful for the Green Revolution. It has changed our lives. And I'm proud of the village for embracing this day. Yes, I want to check this out. about the Gati Shakti mission of the government of India. It's going to be a huge push with India's Make in India partnership and help bring India's prominence onto the world map. Good morning, ministers. Good morning, Good morning Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. How is the Gati Shakti mission progressing? The Gati Shakti mission is progressing very well. We have made a significant progress in improving the transportation infrastructure of the country. That's good to hear. Can you give me some more details? Yes, Prime Minister. We have identified three areas that need improvement, such as the roadways, railways, and the waterways. We are also going to integrate these modes of transportation to create a seamless and efficient network. That sounds ambitious. Yes. Prime Minister, you are absolutely right. With the Gati Shakti mission, we will be able to speed up our development 
It will also help India become the business capital of the world. Hmm. What are some of the challenges that you are facing? One of the biggest challenges is lack of funding. We are going to need more resources to implement the necessary changes. And we are also facing resistance from some groups who are opposed to this project. I understand, but we must push forward with this project. The Gati Shakti mission is essential for development of our country. Developing for the is a great initiative indeed. This to solve traffic issues in big cities. Our great rivers connect industrial towns and this will definitely lead to a swift and efficient growth in the GDP. I have a proposal, Prime Minister. Please, go ahead. We could create a public-private partnership to fund this project. Exactly. We could invite private companies to invest in this project and offer them tax incentives in return. This could help in generating necessary funds and also creating job opportunities. Yes, like we did in ISRO or like SpaceX in USA. I think this could work. Madam Minister, what are the steps that you can take in this regard? Mr. Prime Minister, I think we should start using advertisement, social media, self-help groups to start awareness campaigns. Excellent. This will also help raise productivity and accelerate the economic growth as well. I'll consult with my team and see if we can implement this plan. Thank you for your hard work, Ministers. Thank, Thank you, Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. We'll the ones who will lead the world. Let's see our India's journey. सिंधु घाटी में जन्मी थी एक सभ्यता जो बड़ी पनपी थी वैदिक युग में वेदों पे लेख संस्कृत में संस्कृत जन्मी थी सनातनों की धरती थी जैन और बुद्धों की जननी थी चाणक्य नीति की जन्म भूमि नालंदा में विद्या पढ़ती थी बुद्ध थे और महावीर भी चंद्रगुप्त का अतीत भी सैकड़ों में यहाँ पल्लवों ने मंदिरों की भरी गई नींव भी अशोक जैसे अमीर भी भूमि कलिंग में छीत थी सेना नी पोरस में सिकंदर की मिट्टी थी पलीत की बुद्धों का स्वर्ण युग था महान सतवाहना से शुंगा कुशाण पल्लव नंदा और मौर्यान तंबा पनी पंड्या पाने चाल राजपुता ना ठाक बाटे शंकराचार्य के ज्ञान बाटे रह पृथ्वी राज सियान पान जोहार के नहीं रहा हार मान चौड़ी थी हास पे लूटा घोरे तैमूर ने भर के फिर भी नहीं ली टांगे अब तुम कपार पीर अली खान हम वंशज खुदी राम के गंगा धरते लग भगत दुश्मनी हो तो बुद्धि ये गर्म है साहित्यकारों की कलम किसानों ने मिट्टी कर दी स्वर्ण है मैथिली और पंजाबी मराठी पहाड़ी गुजराती कश्मीरी से बंगाली मल्लू दाजू संग मद्रासी ये सचिन की माटी अटल की माटी मेरी सायना लता की माटी ये है रहमान की माटी शाहरुख का मिताब की माटी माटी उस हर गुरु की जो विद्या दे के बना था काबिल माटी उस नेता की जो लड़ता रहता हक की खातिर माटी उस बाप की जो करवाता बेटे फौज में शामिल माटी उस माँ की बेटन जिसका आया लड़के वापस माटी उस फौजी की जो छाती पर खाता है गोली माटी उसकी सुनना पाया बेटे बेटे की बोली माटी उस फौजी की जो घर मनाए ना लोड़ी होली माटी उसकी जिसकी लिट्टी तिरंगे में आखरी डोली वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम on the global map as an emerging superpower. While India has the honor of the G20 presidency, I would like to shift your attention towards the summit of the heads of nations, in which India showcases its growing progress and development. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, esteemed delegates, welcome to the G20 summit in India. Today, we gather to discuss global economic matters and India's rising position in the world economy. We shall begin with the opening remarks from Prime Minister of India. Thank you, moderator. Esteemed colleagues, I stand before you to shed light on India's remarkable economic growth. Our nation's ascent on the world stage presents immense opportunities for collaboration and mutual growth. We are committed to inclusive development and are eager to contribute positively to the global economy. Thank you. Now I present German Chancellor. Thank you, moderator. Greetings to all. India's economic achievements are impressive. Your country's transformation into a major global power signifies the changing dynamics of the world economy. Germany recognizes India's potential and is keen on forging stronger economic ties to promote trade and investment. India's emergence as a global powerhouse cannot be ignored. Germany believes in the power of collaboration and is committed to working closely with India to build stronger economic partnerships. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a French delegate. Thank you, moderator. Bonjour. India has come a long way in last few decades. It has made tremendous progress in various fields like technology, business, and diplomacy. And I'm very hopeful that the G20 presidency will bring a change to the world and to India itself, of course. Thank you. Moderator, if I may. Please, Prime Minister. Thank you. Japan recognizes India as a significant powerhouse in the making. India's young and dynamic workforce, coupled with its commitment towards technology and innovation, holds great potential for global economic growth. Thank you. Here's a Chinese Premier. Thank you, Moderator. Good morning, all. Indeed, Prime Minister Shinzo, China acknowledges India's rapid economic growth and use it as an opportunity for regional and global prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, as our discussions come to an end, I invite you and delegate to propose their closing remarks. Thank you, moderator. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling overwhelmed standing here in this forum. India has come a long way and has taken a giant leap and is one of the leading countries in terms of scientific development. Ladies and gentlemen, I take your attention to the time when the whole world was in the grip of pandemic. And we as the United Nations were having no idea how to deal with the situation. That is the time when India grows up and stood for the world. It did not only develop quality vaccines, but also deliver them in every nook and corner of the world. This comes with great leadership and a responsible government. I am sure that the future of world with India is safe. India is one country which has successfully hosted G20 and has given the message of prosperity and peace to the world. India has been a great host indeed. The motto of one earth, one family, one future certainly achieve. So I wish India a great luck and well done, India. In the face of our India, let us all be proud of our nation. Let us all celebrate the India of 2047. The India that was, that is, and that always shall be. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. <laughs> Pesi Karang Sunaya Ganga Jamana Miri Aankhe Menaye Bharat Ka Chaya Main Kal Bhi Tha Main Aaj Bhi Hoon Main Nav Yug Ka Andaz Bhi Hoon Sari Dunia Ka Ghar Mujh Mein इस मिट्टी का आदर मुझ में मैं देश भक्त भी कर रहा हूँ 
मैं नए भारत का चेहरा मैं नए भारत का चेहरा मैं बेटी की मुस्कान में हूं मैं नारी के सम्मान में हूं मैं बेटी की मुस्कान में हूं मैं नारी के सम्मान में हूं विज्ञान में हूं किसान में हूं हर वीर में और जवान में हूं मैं सीमाओं का पहरा हूं मैं नए भारत का चेहरा हूं मैं नए भारत का चेहरा हूं मैं नए भारत का चेहरा हूं अब चांद पे पांव जमाना है सूरज से आंख मिलाना है एक नया सवेरा लाना है संकल्प नया दोहराना है न ठहरा था न ठहरा हूं न ठहरा था न ठहरा हूं मैं नए भारत का चेहरा 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 हूं रुत बदली है जैसे रुख बदला हो जैसे बढ़ती निराशा का कोहरा छटा हो जैसे भारत की अब नई पहचान है चारों दिशा होता नव निर्माण है युवा में मायूसी रफ्तार है कौशल उत्साह की भरमार है स्किल इंडिया इसका विस्तार है समृद्धि सबका अधिकार है जन धन से जन जन तैयार है खुदरा से बढ़ता व्यापार है अपनी पहचान है अपना आधार है भ्रष्टाचार बनिराधार है के शत्रु की अब हार है हो रहा न्याय है बढ़ रहा जोश है हुनर अपार है इंडिया का शेर अब कर दादा हार है स्वाभिमान से हम चल जो पड़े हैं हर बाधा छोटी और हौसले बड़े हैं नौ सौ इंडिया का संकल्प है रुकना थमना अब ना विकल्प है जो था थी अब दिखता अल्प है कल्प वृक्ष ये बढ़ रहा है ऐसे सागर चांद को देख पड़े जैसे दुनिया के नक्श में उबर रहा इंडिया की लहर चली है सूरज से ऊर्जा निकली है रोशन करती स्वच्छ है देश और नीयत साफ है गांव शहर सब जुड़ रहे हैं जैसे एक साथ और इच्छा शक्ति है जी प्रबल है देश की रग में जैसे नयाबल है
Wait, 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 wait for the picture. Class 9, Anmol. Okay, yes. Anmol, who has secured first position by scoring 93.6%. Yes, okay. Class 11, Science, Aditya Sharma, 88.7%. Yes, okay. Class 11, Humanities, Urvishi Thakur. Urvishi Thakur has scored 92.31%. Okay, let's look here. Class 12 Humanities, Manna Karma. Manna Karma has secured first position by scoring 95.4%. Okay, let's look here. Thank you. Academic Excellence Scholarship of today's 4,500 is awarded to the students of class 10th and 12th. You have secured first position in the respective classes and there are class 12, Pashikam. Okay. 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 Two students also hold her piercing memorial scholarship for first performers in class. Was a student of the school yes, from okay. the year 2002 to 2004. He had a good academic. On the stage, the parents of a child, while they came in the school for their world mission, lost their back in the school campus. The highest score of the tournament was Bishop Tower.
one side.
tough field is very important when most of the children aspire to join the armed forces and particularly the army. I am glad that the school has taken necessary steps and to encourage boys and girls to prepare for the NDA and thus has started coaching classes for the aspirants. And the outcome of such efforts is quite visible now as two of our boys have passed the written exam as well as the interview and they will be shortly joining the National Defence Academy at Kharag Basla. At the same time, another boy and a girl also has cleared the written exam and awaiting their interview and I am sure in the coming days they will also clear their interview and should be joining the Ministry of Institution and the National Defence Academy. The world is open to all of us and we exhort the parents to let their children follow their dreams. Reach for skies and pursue whichever profession they would choose or like to choose for themselves for that is where they excel. That does not mean force down the path which is not of their choice. At the end, once again, I complete my compliments to you all for the hard work done for this 37th Founders Day. I wish principal, staff, students a best of endeavors in the futures. Thank you and Jai Hind.
कितना टाइम लगा गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी वेल डन वेरी वेल डन पढ़ाई करना अच्छा लगता है या अच्छा लगता है So what do you want to do in uh, life? Come on, painter or a joiner? He's a psychic. Right? Right? Oh, okay. But very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Wonderful. See, humble, thoda sa speech one rakha. Ah, he's very nice. He's the one attending his classes. Good morning. Very nice. She come. Yes, sir. One hour, different students. What do you mean, Sushi? You made something? Which one? Thank you. 
First pair of clothes. Whose mobile is this? <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. 
बन बन को जाओ थोड़े से
anybody coming they sit down here again they can see you yes kya chal raha hai ha abhi to wahi school ka hi video tha and these are our officers
सब एस ओ पी सब स्टेटमेंट ऑफ केसेस ऑल डिमांड इज ऑलरेडी वेट द फाइल थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हेल्पिंग एस आउट अदरवाइज मेरे लिए तो चिट्ठी लिखना बहुत मुश्किल काम है फौजी काम नहीं आता है जब भी एनी वन इज इन प्रॉब्लम हर एक आदमी को है प्लीज वट एवर यू राइट सेंड इट इन वट एप इट यू करेक्टेड रिड्राफ्टेड एंड सेंड बैक बहुत अच्छा काम किया छबी लाल भैया ने कुछ बोलने जो छबी लाल ने बोला वही मैंने बोला प्रेजेंट हेयर इट मीन ए वंडरफुल टू हैव गोट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व इन ए बी चाय बी दी यू ऑल आई एंजॉय इट एंड आई विल मिस इट बट change is always welcome in life and one should proceed what his inner conscience says so i have decided to opt out and move to probably better field maybe i don't know what is waiting for me i have got a opportunity to serve somewhere else i will see if it suits me i will go there otherwise it is time to call it a day and look after yourself that otherwise there is no end will miss you all All of you are welcome to our house. यहाँ तो कोई आया नहीं. But that is not affiliated to ABS Dakshai. It is an independent entity. Anyone whosoever is coming to Panchkula, Chandigarh, Chai City is welcome. Address or number, ABS Dakshai में मौजूद. ठीक है. Thank you very much. And all the very best. Good luck. You all are doing a human service by providing quality education to troops, especially of PBOR. The school, the schools were basically opened with the thought process because our personal below officer ranks don't get adequate time to pay towards studies of their children, education of their children. Please look after them and uh, be a lot of them to them. They are always in our frontiers, safeguarding the nation. Please look after their kids. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. जब भी घर पे भी होते हैं कुछ ना कुछ जरूर कर रहे होते हैं कुछ ना कुछ तो हमारे पड़ोस में तो ही हेज बिन सॉलिड रॉक ऑलवेज देयर हेल्पिंग कुछ भी चाहिए कुछ भी हमें जरूरत है जब सब चले जाते हैं तो वहाँ पे होते थे तो बहुत सपोर्ट होती थी आपकी बहुत है थैंक यू सो मच अभी भी इज नॉट गोइंग आई डोंट नो बट सिंस आई कैम इन ऑफिस एंड आई एम रिलैक्स व्हेन ही इज देयर एक दिन जो हफ्ते में ऑफ होता है ना आई एम लाइक आज क्या होगा घर ऑलवेज वेरी सपोर्टेड या धन्यवाद छवि लाल जी